Before moving ahead in the interview, I want to talk about Zebo Cloud. Zebo Cloud is a global communication service provider. It provides developer-friendly and powerful SDK and APIs with many communication features on the app, such as video call, chat, video conference, live streaming, and many more. Now, the three green UI tips and components help in building and shipping applications to the market in the shortest possible time instead of building everything from scratch. Zigo Clouds have more than 20 plus UI kits and 50 plus components with easy personalization and ready for use. And these UI kits are suited for different use cases like testing tools, when you build an MVP for funding or in-app plugins to our existing apps. And it is very less time consuming, economical, and we really need to focus on the core businesses. The UI it covers the needs of various industries and offers features like one-to-one -one calls, group calls, video conferencing, live streaming, in-app chat, and many more. ZegoCloud provides an easy guide for developers to integrate the SDK and build apps faster. You can start building your projects by simply signing up to Zigo Cloud, and you will get 10,000 minutes for free. So I'm going to click on start building and this is going to take me to the login page where you will just see your dashboard. You can simply click on create a project then you can select any of the use cases that you want to build. I will select voice and video call. You can click on next. Then you need to provide your project name and then you can choose either the UI or you can start with the custom SDK and use the configuration in your project. You will find all the links related to the Zero Cloud in the description of the video so that you can check it out later on. Let me ask some questions in the JavaScript first. Okay. So, what is the hosting in the JavaScript? So, hosting, uh, so what hosting will do is like uh, it will put the declaration at top of the scope during compilation. In short, what we can say as well as that variables it can be used before declaration so that is the concept of hosting okay, okay, okay. and what is the closure so uh, what closure concept is uh, like the inner function scope can have access to the variables of outer function that is parent function scope so that is the concept of closure so what is the difference between class apply and bind function method? Uh, so call apply and bind. So uh, all the three uh, they are same in functionality. Like it it is used to bind the this value in then invokes the function. But in call method, what it happens? It allows you to pass a list of arguments. Whereas in apply method, it allows us to pass argument as an array whereas in bind method it allows us to pass in a list of arguments so these are the difference between call apply and bind but they all uh, normally use for same functionality okay next question like what is the difference between async await and promises promise is nothing but a javascript object what it determines this like it determines the operations the state of operation which is guaranteed and uh, it completes its execution at some point in the future so that is a promise whereas a sync await it is used as a try catch block so that is the difference between promise and a sync await okay. well, what is the event delegation in the javascript so event de delegation it is uh, mainly used for handling the if, uh, events so what happens instead of, like what we do add we add every event listener to each uh, normally each element so instead of that we can add event listener to a parent element and call the event on a particular target by uh, with the help of uh, dot target property so that is the concept of event delegation. Okay. So what is the output of the like uh, 10 is a number plus 20 is a number plus 30 is a string? So output for this, the output will be uh, 30, 30. So 3, 0, 3, 0. Uh, so the last 30, it will be a string. Like it gets concatenate. 
with the uh, 10 and 20 it gets added and 30 plus 30 the last 30 is string so it will get concatenate and it will become 3030 0, 0. and uh, what is the output of this 10 is a string plus 20 is a number plus 30 is a number then what is the output uh, so in this okay the, the first one is string 10 and the other two is numbers so what it will happen is it will take 10 and uh, so after string any number which comes it will act as a string only so uh, all the three numbers will get concatenate and it the output will be 10 20 30 okay Okay. Uh, what is the higher order component in the reactor? Uh, so higher order components, uh, it takes a component as an argument and returns a new component. So it is used in the cases like if you want to highlight or unhighlight the text, or if you want to do, uh, if you want to expand the options from the menu. So for for those kind of purpose, we can use higher order components. Okay. What is the difference between props and the state? So difference between props and uh, state is like prop it is used to transfer the data from parent to child component whereas state it is used to store the data within the component. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the context API? Context API it is uh, used to share the data across the component so so there was an issue of prop drilling so to avoid that prop drilling context api came into place so it can share the data across the component instead of uh, sharing the data through hierarchical level okay uh, what is the uh, difference between stateless component and the stateful component so difference between stateless and stateful component so stateful component they are known as class component whereas stateless component they are uh, known as functional component uh, functional component it doesn't have its own states and lifecycle method features because they have to use hooks to use the features for states lifecycle methods and these features for these features they use hooks but in class component they have its own uh, features for states and lifecycle methods so these are the difference between sta uh, stateless and stateful components okay, okay. Okay, like, uh, what are the react hooks so react hooks uh, what it does is uh, it helps us to solve the problems uh, regarding like uh, we can use states and lifecycle methods without the help of uh, classes we can reuse the code independently so these are the few uh, things uh, through which we uh, like hooks uh, have been solving it and, uh, what type of problem uh, they solve so like it allows us to use uh, like different features states lifecycle methods without uh, without using a class uh, like we can be uh, use a component reuse the component efficiently with the help of folks so yeah these are the few things through which uh, react hooks have been introduced and they have solved okay so what is the difference between control and uncontrolled component so in uh, uncontrolled component uh, we manage the state internally so and in control components the state have been managed by the react component so that is the main difference between controlled and uncontrolled components okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So uh, I'm done from my side. <clears throat>